Good morning, slits. Good morning, Chanel. This is the estate that three generations of my family went insane in. Well, you look great. Besties for life, I say. Oberlin, the bell's been posted. <gasps> Later, losers. Care to explain, chubby old Nazi? Hold on, you killed Miss Bean. I didn't turn on the deep fryer, bitch. You should be thankful that this table is too long for me to reach across and strangle you, bitch. And then I secretly drop handfuls of it on the floor as the movie plays. I don't understand, why? To make the fatties feel bad about themselves. Then they feel terrible and eat more. Oh no, we're locked in. If number five. I just used that finger bowl to wash my hands, something I didn't do all day, despite having dropped turdlets off at the pool. And then at midnight, we just burnt the house down. When the firefighters came, they were actually strippers, and they put out the fire with champagne. Clearly, there is only one person to blame for all of this. Number five. Wait, what? Can I talk to you? In private. Private like the parts on a man you like putting in your mouth? Wait, you're so confident without being mean. Hey, what antidepressants are you on? I'm not wearing blue rhino boob, I am blue! Why do you have nine tampons? How big is your cooch? And why are you carrying a bag clearly filled with chains? Um, bondage. Excuse me, Miss Hoberlin, are you cheating? God, no. Kaizi is my Asian. Excuse me? You can steal my man with your ample booty and admittedly beautiful weave, but I will not allow you to take the money he obviously left for me so I can be rich enough for everyone to like me again. He can't chase us all down before we escape. I mean, yes, one of us will probably die, and yes, it'll probably be number five because the joints in her lower body don't seem to move when she runs, but I am willing to make that sacrifice. Stating that they think that you are a serial killer. They also want to sue you for the time that you drove your Range Rover into their living room because you didn't want to walk all the way up the driveway? It is such a long driveway. Oh, yeah? Well, then why didn't I kill the two pledges I actually hate? Dumbass Grace and stupid Zeta. Sad about me, and you were the closest semi-damp orifice. Attention all useless Kappa sluts. Congratulations. If you're reading this, it means you've overcome the limitations of your tiny manatee brains and opened an email. I'll show Roger and Dodger video proof that their hot new girlfriend regularly rubs it out in her room while watching Dora the Explorer. I have cameras in my room? I have eyes everywhere, bitch. We're going to play a game called Cocaine or Dildo. I come from a sad and skinny 20-somethings feelings are more important than some silly little legal document. I know at first touching me feels like, you know, you're making out with a 13-year-old boy, but I promise once I get my clothes off, I am super feminine. So, have fun being dead number two. You are a stupid little trollop, and I hope you're burning in hell right now. Amen. I found this old talking board in the well, basement. Those things don't work. Yes, they do. Didn't you see the movie? The movie Ouija? No, no one did. Isn't ghosting when you do a number two and you look down at the paper and there's nothing there? And so you stand up and you look in the toilet, but there's nothing there either because the turd somehow got shot down the hall before you even flush? I mean, that's ghosting. She went in the closet to play Seven Minutes in Heaven with her boyfriend, and then he ends up dead. Clearly, Chanel number five is the killer. What's for next? The liquid laxative number five. Some of us with souls who aren't friendless psychopaths find that the stress of having a mass murderer on campus makes them slightly irregular. Any guy swiping right on you is a miracle. So go, go meet this blind man. And when I'm done apologizing to Melanie, I'm gonna call Pope Francis because we now have proof of God's existence in this universe. Chad, your leathery excuse for a mother looks like an ostrich hide clutch from last season that somehow learned to talk. You don't get STDs from blood oaths. You get STDs from dirty toilet seats and drinking the water in Mexico. Does your vagina have teeth? My vagina doesn't have teeth. Can I rephrase the question? Does your vagina still have teeth? No, the answer is no! Listen up, hog face sluts. I'm sorry, did I ask you to pull down my panties and blow a compliment up my butt? You don't want anything, do you? I'll have a Trenta no foam five shot half calf no foam pumpkin spice latte with no foam at 210 degrees. I'm an American. I don't have to understand anything. Is she dead? This is so horrible. I know, that was such a fabulous pair of shoes. This closet is the most precious thing in my life. It's like a second vagina to me. Here's what we know. One. Number five is a psychopath who no one likes. Have you ever asked yourself why so many people want to murder you? No. I offer the following heartfelt sentiment. You can all suck it! Oh, stick a 
hot dog in it, humanity. We're gathered here today because a backstabbing little bitch got exactly what was coming to her. Looks like the bitch apple doesn't fall far from the bitch tree. Over my rich, hot, dead body. Good evening, idiot hookers. 